June 25th here in southern Ontario, Canada. So I don't usually just rehash the news. Um, there's plenty of channels who do that, and I'm not being disparaging when I say that in any way, shape, or form. It's only a good thing. But in the Toronto-St. Paul riding, there was a by-election vote ballot yesterday. Now that riding has been a liberal stronghold for like 30 years. It's touted, although I didn't go verify this as sort of the liberal stronghold of Toronto. And it, the, a conservative won it. Now, even the mainstream media is covering this. But what I found interesting, two points. One is Christia Freeland showed up there to support the liberal candidate. I gather she's not supposed to do that. That's in violation of some kind of um, campaigning rule or something. I don't know. doesn't really matter, I suppose. But what she said was bizarre. She said to vote conservative, and I'm not paraphrasing her here other than quoting her here, cold, cruel, and small, unquote. What, Christian? This from the woman who sniggered when asked by the press about freezing bank accounts during the Freedom Convoy in Ottawa. Remember that? You're freezing bank accounts, Christian? And she was like, <laughs> Yes, we are. Cold, cruel, and small. What a bizarre thing to say. Second point is because this uh, this um, riding in the election it gathered garnered a lot of social and mainstream media coverage, and I forget who I was watching, but. What stuck in my mind was the well, what they were doing was interviewing people on the street the day or the day before the election, or I guess during the election, the balloting, I should say. Um, and they talked to one woman who said, well, I'm a liberal. There's no way I will ever vote conservative. I'm a liberal, but I can't vote for Justin Trudeau, so I'm not going to vote. Well, I... There's some convoluted logic there to my way of thinking, but hey, at least she didn't vote for Trudeau, so I guess that's a good thing. I wonder if um, we shouldn't be like, I think it's Austria. I'm going to do a little digging into this because I want to do a video along this vein. But I think it's Austria. They have mandatory voting, which kind of sounds big brotherish, but at the same time, it negates, to some extent anyways, the ability for people to ignore politics. Totally. I'm sure you've met people who are proud. I, I get it all the time because I'm always handing out my little petition flyerly things. Sorry, I was going to pull them out there, but it's a mess. Well, my channel's politics. Largely. But people are proud to say, no, I don't follow politics. Did you watch the hockey game last night? Gee, that helps. No, I didn't watch the hockey game last night. I was watching Christia Freeland saying that a vote for conservative politics is cold, cruel, and small. Anyways, just a rant. 